What's up guys, we're gonna do a quick video, and I really mean quick, this is my second attempt trying to make this because the first time was just a lot of rambling, so let's, let's do this right. We're gonna talk about why I do not use Thinkorswim for trading futures specifically this time. Why I'm, I've still got all my orders on here, um, but why I could never use them as my primary broker. So first of all, let me point out that I'm really, really trying to like Thinkorswim. Uh, the, the thing that appeals to me about it is you have one platform, it's one account where you have all of your, you can do your little subgroups in here, so I can click on this and I can say, all right, uh, I can move this to a group, this is swing trading, and so now it moves over to my swing trading category. Um, I really like certain features that they have, I really like their options trading, uh, it's nice. You just got it all in place. And the the really nice thing that most I'm having trouble finding through uh, TradeStation, at least, is I can see my profit and loss right there. Year to date, I've made almost $700 on futures. Yay. I like being able to see all of that information right there. It's right at my fingertips. That makes me feel all warm and fuzzy inside. I also really like the customer support that you get through TradeStation. You click over here. It opened up in a separate monitor. We'll drag it back over here. You create a support request. You say hello, and somebody talks to you really quickly. Or you call them, and they actually pick up. You don't get put on a waiting list where you're waiting over an hour for somebody to help you fix something because something's wrong with their platform. I'm looking at you, Trade Station. So I, I really want to like Think or Swim. And part of the reason that I started throwing futures into the mix on this is because their mobile app is so garbage that you really it does not make it easy to to adjust a position after you're already in it, especially not when you have 300 orders on the board right there like I do because I set limits, I set stops, I set take profits. And what's nice about this is it would prevent me from messing with the trade while it's on there because I literally can't figure out what order I need to grab and drag, but I can't even do that on that platform. It's a cancel, a replace, it's just, it's terrible. So for like set and forget style orders like credit spreads or my futures trading system, there's, there's a plus side to it because it's so not usable. So, why am I making a video then where I'm talking about why I don't like Thinkorswim for futures? Well, we need to talk about the commissions that they charge. I was going to show you the commissions that they charge, but it would show you all my account totals, so we're not going to click that button. They charge $2.25 per contract, plus your regulatory fees and everything else, per trade. So just doing some quick math because I'm terrible at math, right? You've got 10 contracts that you're trading long or short, doesn't matter, times 225, that's 2250. But wait, there's more, 22.5 times two because you're getting in of the, the trade and you're getting out of the trade, you're paying $45 in commissions. Now, the one thing I will give Think or Swim here is that they're um, every time you trade futures, and this is across the board, every broker that I've ever seen, you pay commissions and then you pay regulatory fees. Um, Think or Swim somehow has super low regulatory fees. Your um, round trip value on 10 contracts, 10 micro contracts, is going to be right around 50 bucks. Uh, let's look at TradeStation, which charges. 50 cents per contract times 10 contracts, that's five. So round trip, you're paying $10 in commissions instead of $45 in commissions. Now, regulatory fees in TradeStation are a little bit higher. It's going to be about a $1.21 round trip times 10 contracts. And you're paying, let's see, so $1.21, that's your commissions and your regulatory fees per contract round trip you were paying $12.10 as opposed to $50. And so I messaged Thinkorswim's customer service people and I was like, hey guys, I want reduced commissions. This is ridiculous. This is way too high. Um, like you're higher than every other broker out there. How do you justify this pricing? It doesn't make any sense. I need, I need reduced pricing. And so they said, well, can you send us some of your... Um, 
your uh, trading volume. If you're using another broker, can you show us how often you're trading, how many contracts you're trading? So I said, sure. So here's two months worth of data. I had to cut something out of it. Sorry, I scribbled on it in the previous video and uh, forgot that I did that. There we go, I fixed it. Um, so there you have it. Uh, this is all of my profit and loss apparently. Didn't even know you could access that on TradeStation's website. Their customer service people told me you couldn't find profit and loss for futures trading. So uh, isn't that nice of them? Uh, here you go. This is the, where's the micro S&P 500. This is the June contract that I traded a whole bunch of. You could see long and short, we had nearly 500 contracts traded round trip. We paid $146 in, in uh, clearing fees, exchange and clearing fees. You pay almost $10 for NFA fees, I have no idea what that means, and $243.50 for commissions. And then in that two month period, I lost $400 total trading futures, which isn't a lot seeing as I traded 500 contracts. Uh, there's something to be said about the volume that I generated for the profit and loss that I generated. We'll, we'll, we're working on that, all right? Uh, that's not what this video is about. This video is about why would you pay so much more? Uh, I added up all of the contracts here. I think it came out to be like 786 contracts total traded in a two-month period. And if you multiply that by the $2.50 um, one-way fee that you would, that's your fees and your commissions that you would pay through Thinkorswim, that amounts to nearly $2,000 in fees and commissions. Uh, I have not done the math to add all of this up. I promise you it is nowhere near $2,000 in fees and commissions. Exact tra same trading volume. Uh, it is astronomically higher. And so I thought, okay, well, maybe TradeStation is just like a discount broker or something like that. Maybe there's, you know, let's look around on the internet and see what other brokers are charging. Um, and also, we'll, we'll talk a little bit about the fact that I pay for the premium service of TradingView and use that to trade. You know, is that going to be worth it? Um, so here's Tradeavate. Uh, when you first look up futures trading, they're one of the first ones that pop up. So they must pay a ton to put their ads out there. Um, apparently, they have fair X futures commission free. I have no idea what that's about. So we're going to ignore that. They have different membership tiers. Let's just assume you don't want to pay for the platform. So you pay a $0 a month fee and you get 25 cent micro contracts. Also, Tradeavate integrates with um, with TradingView, if I remember correctly. Let me let me pull this away just in case it's going to uh, show you my account number or something like that. Um, where's the broker list? How do I do that? Oh, broker list. Let's see the broker list. Let's pull that back. Uh, yep, Tradeavate integrates with trading view so i could do the exact same thing that i'm doing with tradestation right here uh their mobile app isn't as good as trade stations and that's why i haven't switched um but you pay half what you do in the uh commissions if i remember correctly i think their exchange fees are a little bit higher so it's pretty darn close to that dollar 21 round trip that you're paying with tradestation um so not not worth switching as far as i'm concerned uh, they do have within their, they have a whole, um, you can do the instant platform review. It'll give you a log on. It's a web-based platform that I don't like very much. It's not very intuitive, uh, but there is apparently a tab somewhere that'll show you your profit and loss. Um, I don't know anything about it, but that would be a nice feature. So we have AMP Futures. Uh, AMP Futures basically just says, hey, we're a broker, we'll connect you to the market, you gotta bring your own charts. Okay, so you can get free TradingView access. Uh, you could use MetaTrader if you're into using outdated technology. You could use Sierra charts for the same reason. Uh, you know, they have a couple of different people that they connect to and you just trade futures and they will match commissions, any written commission quote that you get from another broker, they'll go ahead and match it. So there you go, AMP Futures. Uh, I don't know much about them outside of that, but it is usable. 
Ninja Trader, you have to use their platform. They don't have a mobile app, which means they're basically useless to me. But if you're sitting at your computer all day and want to start trading futures, then uh, you can get their platform. If you get the free version of their platform, you don't pay the $1,000 lifetime fee or something like that. It looks like your fees and your all-in rates are $0.82 cents per contract per trade. Which isn't terrible, actually. That's very affordable compared to even the dollar and twenty-one cents that Trade Station's offering. So, if you don't need a mobile app, there you go. Uh, Interactive Brokers. I don't know anything about them other than they have micro futures for twenty-five cents a contract. So it's actually looking like Trade Station's a little bit high right now. That's interesting. Futures contracts through E Trade. I didn't even know they offer futures. That is a dollar fifty. And so we, we come back to what I use. I use TradingView.com through TradeStation. TradeStation, like I said, it's a dollar twenty-one with your it's fifty cents commissions. You pay your regulatory fees, and there you have it. So, what do we make of all of this? The TradeStation, sorry, not TradeStation. Um, Thinkorswim. When I talked to the customer service people, they said, "Yeah, we charge a premium for futures trading." Because you have access to an award-winning platform that's outdated and clunky. You have access to a mobile app, which I've objectively proven has worse order entry than TradeStation's mobile app. Check out my video on that if you haven't seen it. Um, you get access to, uh, you do get access to having everything in one place. Oh, and there's a whole bunch of educational content. You can go on YouTube and look that up for free. But there's a whole bunch of educational content. Really what you get if you're trading futures through Thinkorswim, uh, what you get is really good customer service. So I'll give that to them. Is it worth literally paying thousands of dollars more than what you normally would through any other broker? No. No. So just, just think about that for a moment. In the two-month window that I showed uh, this this data right here, I got shafted on fees right here, by the way. Look at that. Bitcoin futures, $65 in fees. There should be a warning before you trade Bitcoin futures that the fees are just outrageous. I, that really just – it hurts me. And it also worries me because I haven't actually looked at what my fees are, and I've traded Bitcoin futures through Thinkorswim, and I really hope they're not that high. So – um, is it worth paying thousands of dollars more? It, it's absolutely not because you could get a platform like this where your order entry is as simple as, uh, you know, you take your long position tool, you put it right there, you put it right there. Let's do that. And yeah, let's go zone to zone. We're aiming for almost a four to one create limit order and you fill out your little thing. There you have it. It's objectively better. It's objectively cheaper. Thinkorswim is just bad for futures trading. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.